Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make advanced commands on your Discord bot. If you have not watched the other two episodes, I left a card on screen right now. So go ahead and watch those two videos before you watch episode three. Now in episode two, I showed you how to make embeds. So uh, embeds look like this. Uh, they look like this. I'll show you how to make this colored, how to do all this. So yeah. Uh, now, before we get started in this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and then comment down below, I subscribed, and I will personally reply to your comment. Anyway, let's just go ahead and start this video. So, in your bot startup code, what you need to do is you need to write in jda.set chunking filter and then chunking filter dot all so this lets you see all of the members in your discord server and then next you want to do jda dot set members catch policy so this is saying uh this is kind of confusing so i'm not going to really explain it but basically you just do members uh no get there catch policy dot oh member not members okay there we go uh so dot all so this lets you see all of the members in your server this just lets you uh do that so yeah, this just lets you see all the members in your server. I I know that we have to do this. Uh, I, I don't really uh, like, like it's, it's kind of hard to explain, so I'm not gonna really explain it. But this one is the one that was easy to explain. So next you wanna do JDA dot uh, set, oh, not set, it's enable intents. And then uh, you're just gonna have one argument, not two. And then you're gonna do gateway intents. Is it gateway intents? Yeah, it's gateway intent. Dot guild members. So this is basically giving yourself the permission to actually view the members. Uh, I don't know why Discord ha like added this. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, we have to do this. Anyway, now make sure to go to your browser now and uh, like on go to your developer portal. It's uh, at discord.com slash developers. Link for it will be in the description. Uh, make sure that you select your uh, applications. Uh, yeah. So I'm on my I'm logged in on my test account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log out. And let's just let me just go ahead and log into my Discord real quick. Give me one quick second. Yes, logging in. Alright. There we go. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and now that we're logged in, we'll go ahead and go back to discord.com slash developers there we go now we're gonna go ahead and go here and on our bot we're gonna go ahead and make sure that uh, I'm on the wrong bot sorry okay yeah now and on your bot make sure that this is also enabled right here server members intent intent so go ahead and enable that uh, this is basically enabling it on your bot as well. Uh, you also just have to enable it on the API. I don't know why, again, I don't know why Discord is uh, doing this. It It's weird. I'm not really sure. But, yeah. And also, if you're making a public bot, uh, once your bot reaches 100 or more servers, uh, this will automatically disable until you verify your bot. Uh, you can click here to read more about it, of how to verify your bot and everything. So, yeah. Now, let's just go ahead and go back to our 
uh, thing. Now let's go ahead and go into our commands and we're gonna go ahead and set the commands. Uh, now we're gonna make an if statement. So we're gonna say if arg zero dot to lowercase dot starts with and then uh, this is case sensitive uh, for what we're about to do so make sure that your prefix is also lowercase um, and like if you have letters in it if it's just like an exclamation point or something that, that doesn't really matter uh, so for its prefix plus and then uh, give roll uh yeah give roll sorry so this is just saying like if the thing if our thing starts with our prefix uh which is the exclamation point so it's going to say exclamation point give roll so if that's what the message starts with then uh yeah that's uh like oh uh, yeah if the message starts with then whatever's in this if statement will will run so Let's go ahead and do this. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and, oh, wait, no. It's not two lowercase that starts with, uh, because we're just looking at this. It's equals ignore case, I'm, I'm s sorry. <laughs> equals ignore case, and then this, sorry. Anyway. Uh, now, let's go ahead and uh, do this. So we're going to create another if statement, and this is going to be checking to see if anyone or the if the message has actually um, mentioned a role that they want to give. So uh, we're going to make it to where it's only one role. So we're going to do if and then event dot get message dot get mentioned roles and then dot to array dot length hmm, yeah here it is sorry get, gives me trouble find and then equals equals one and then we'll put in squirrely bracket or uh, curly brackets now, uh, if it doesn't, then we're just going to type in an else. And then uh, here, if it doesn't, then we'll go ahead and reply to the message. So we'll do event dot get message dot reply. Then we're going to go ahead and say, uh, please mention only one role to give and then we're going to do dot q now let's go ahead and do what so what if they did mention the role that they want to give and obviously only one then we're going to go ahead and do if we're, we're going to go in to see if they actually mention any members so we're going to do if events dot get message dot get mentioned users dot to array dot length equals equals one then oh not then sorry uh squirrely records and then if they haven't then we'll just put in our else statement uh basically replying to their message, so I'll just copy this. No, nope, oops. Control C. Control V. And then it will reply saying, please mention only one user. Now, so what if they did mention a user? Well, then let's go ahead and make a variable for the member, so do member and then member equals uh yeah events dot get guild dot 
get member and then uh, we can actually just go ahead and copy this right here and just paste that in and then so dot get mention users dot get and then zero in the here now let's go and put in our squirrely bracket uh, not squirrely brackets uh, I, I thought this was an if statement for some reason uh, keep doing this semicolon there now we're going to do control shift o make sure that you select net dot deviation uh make sure you select that the one that starts with that and then now we're going to go ahead and make a variable for the role that we're going to give so we're going to do role and then we're going to do role to give and then equals event dot get guild dot get role or get role by ID and then uh, yeah we gotta put a semicolon after this and then we're gonna go ahead and do events oh wait no no we don't have to do this we just gotta do uh, let's just go ahead and copy this right here we gotta copy this and then replace all this that I just typed. Uh, make sure to put that. And then dot get zero. So yeah. Now we'll go ahead and do control shift O. Uh, make sure to import the net dot deviation rules. Then there we go. So now let's go ahead and give the role to the member. So let's just go ahead and do events dot get guild dot uh, dot add role to member and then oop, I think a uh, add role to member and then member comma role to give and then just do a semicolon. So yeah, that will add the role. Now let's go ahead and reply to the message saying that, uh, oh, and also uh, after add role after this, we have to do dot Q just like how we do with our messages because every time uh, we do something in the server, like if we add a role, we send a message, stuff like that, we have to do dot Q so it will queue it to happen. So yeah, anyway, uh, we do event dot get message dot reply and then we're gonna go and reply with gave the role and then plus uh this or not. we're just gonna oh wait no we just gotta do a roll to give roll to give dot get as mentioned and then plus space to space plus member dot get as mentioned and then let's go ahead and put in a semicolon right here and then uh yeah that is about it so this will give the role to them so we're gonna go ahead and give the role to my test account so let's just go ahead and run this right here i'm going to run let's make sure there are not any errors login successful connected to websocket all right so let's go ahead and do exclamation mark give role oh and also the best thing about this command is that you can do it you can ping the user and then say the role that you want to give this is just a test role or you could do that completely backwards and say and mention the role and then uh, this you just got to make sure that this is the first thing uh, that is said like on the message so yeah uh, that's pretty cool so we'll just do this and then uh, uh oh looks like we got an error let's go ahead and see this oh there is no error 
Oh, we we gave it to ourselves. That's why. Okay. And then uh, once we gave it, I forgot we it, there's no permissions on it, so uh, like it wasn't actually able to send. So let's just go ahead and remove the roll, and then we'll just do this again. So I'll just uh, do exclamation mark give roll at moderator to at DJ Skyward's test account. There we go. And then, as you can see, it gave the roll, and then, oh, it didn't reply. Um, oh, that's because we didn't do .q. My bad. So yeah, that that will actually queue the message. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and uh, terminate the bot, and then I'll run it again. Uh, just click on yes to save. All right, and then we'll go ahead. Now let's try this one more time. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So there we go. As you can see, it gave the role. But what if we want to take away the role? Well, what you there's two things that you can do. Uh, one or three things that you can do. One, you can if you have the permission to take it away, you can easily just uh, do that. Or what you can do is we can add in a new command. Uh, which is the remove role. So I'll just go ahead and copy all of this. And then, so yeah, we'll just copy it all. Now, uh, we're just going to replace the give with remove. And then, uh, let's just go ahead and look. Uh, you can just keep that as the same. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to do please mention only one role to remove and then instead of add roll we're gonna make it say remove roll from member so yeah there you go uh, and then we'll make sure that this says removed the roll and uh, yeah so basically we just made a new command uh, except we replaced all the add and gives to remove or removed. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, now the second thing that you can do is you can also add a time limit for how long they have the role. Like this, this will especially be good for like if you have like a mute role and you only want to mute them for a certain amount of time. Now for this example, what I'm going to do is I am just going to have... I'm just gonna have it to where they'll only have it for like 10 seconds, but you can obviously make it to where they'll have the role for like only 24 hours or only 10 hours and stuff like that. Now, we're how do we do this? Well, it's actually uh, really, really simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do right here. We're gonna type in new Java dot util dot timer dot schedule and then uh, after this we're just gonna replace this with new java dot util dot timer task uh, parentheses and then now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in scrolly brackets right here and then now as you can see there's an error we'll just uh, hover over it and click on add unimplemented unimplemented methods uh, this will add in our uh, command or uh, function right here uh, you can remove this comment if you want and then now we're gonna go and now whatever you put in this function right here is what is going to happen. So in our uh, add role, we're just going to paste that in and we're just going to remove it from them. So we'll do remove and then I'll make sure that this says from. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and replace this null with the amount of milliseconds it's going to take. Now, how do you find... Uh, 
milliseconds and stuff and for like uh what was it yeah for like how many seconds how many hours how many whatever well i'm gonna do seconds you can do days you can do weeks so yeah uh seconds so 10 seconds into milliseconds is 10,000. So we're just going to copy that and then we're going to replace this null with the amount of milliseconds you want. So now I'm going to go ahead and terminate the bot and then we're going to click on run, click on OK, and then login successful, finish loading. So now we're going to go ahead and go back and then we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy the commands. I'm going to paste it in. As you can see, it gave the role. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for it to take it away. It's going to wait 10 seconds. Just wait for that. And now, as you can see, it takes the role away. Now, obviously, you can make it longer. You can make it shorter. You can make it the same. So yeah, uh, just make sure that it's in milliseconds. So like if, if you're doing hours, you wouldn't put 24, you would put like how many milliseconds it is for 24 hours. So yeah. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for today's video. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and then comment down below I subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. And anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. Peace.